This is the second video of this series and we're adding appointment booking functionality in WordPress. Hi, my name is Stratos and I'm constantly producing video tutorials about WordPress. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. In the previous video, we installed the Jet appointment, the Jet engine, and we did all the necessary settings. Now, if I go into the services and add new, I'm going to open three services because I have three services for that to be added. I'm going to see that I have some new fields. These new fields under the settings weren't there before I did the wizard and saved. So these are the fields that the jet engine create for us. And these are the necessary fields for this to work. Let's start by first viewing the home page. Okay, I have the oil change. That's the first service. And then we have the text here. And this text will inform the visitor of the website why is this service necessary for him to be booked. Okay, let's click here just to put a little bit of space and make it better. Okay, then we have the car condition and I'm going for a used car and the type of car is car. After that, we have the price per slot, which means that the appointment will cost the price that we're going to put here, 20. So $20 for the oil change. If you want, you can also cost per hour or per minute. I'm going to put slot here because I'm going to uh, charge for the whole appointment. And after that, we have the custom schedule, which will enable the schedule that we saw in the previous video to be changed depending on the service. So here you may have a service that only can be booked in different hours or it will last different minutes depending on what you're going to put here or it will be available for different days and months maybe. Now for me the duration will be 20 minutes. That's how much time I need for the oil change. So let's change that to 20 minutes. And everything else will stay the same. After that, let's go to the services and let's change and add a featured image. So I'm going for the oil change picture, which is here. And let's put something for the alternative text. After that, we have the expert, which is the text for the oil change. And we can put here something like this is necessary for all the cars. This is done every year or something, depending on the miles that you cover. Something like that. Last field is the relay technicians, which means that we're going to assign that service to the correct provider, to the correct technician. This field was also created automatically. And this is basically the jet engine and relations, but you will not find inside here because it's created from the jet appointment. So here we don't have any technician at this moment, but if we had, we can just go here, type the first letters and we would find the technicians that we had. Now, keep in mind that the jet engine 2.11 has more fields about the relations, but since this is automatically created, it's something like that. At this moment, I'm going to leave it as it is. Let's go and publish that and hit publish again. So the first service is created. Okay, next one will be the season service. Season service, I'm going to copy the text and paste it here. I'm going to leave it as it is. This is the used car and this is for van maybe. The price is per slot and it is uh, $50, something like that. And I need to put some custom schedule. Now, this is two hours. So let's go and put here two hours. I will need two hours for that service. And since this is a season service, I will going for working days and I'm going to add the starting date to be the 1st of April and the end of the date that I can book that to be the end of June. So only between those months, I can book this service. Let's go and add here the seasons season service or something like a name. Okay, save that. And as you can see, this is the time frame that I have. Also, you can add as many rows as you want here. After that, let's go into the service and let's set that featured image for the service. And the season one is here, this one, no, here, this one. And I'm going to paste that and let's publish that. Okay, third one will be the body shop. Or I can put change tires. Maybe I can put change towers. Yeah, I'm going to put change tires. Change tires. 
So let's paste here the text. Not this text. Let's paste here the text. Okay, car condition will be used. Okay, and then we're going for car again. This is price per slot. Let's go for 100. And I'm not going to change the custom schedule. I'm going straight into the settings here. Let's close that. Okay, let's go into the services. Let's put the set featured image. Let's go for a tire, something like that. And I'm going to publish that. Now, we have done the services that we want at this moment. And we're going now to add the technicians. The technicians can have their own schedule and they can have their own price. Because they may be technicians that are more qualified. And they cost more money in order for them to do the same service. So, let's go and put here first the John. And I'm going to create two different persons for the same service every time just to show you that I can have a different price every time okay so this is the John and here I'm going to put some information about him okay then I have some certifications I have some diploma here let's go for that then years of experience he has two years of experience and he's with us two years so all of those years in the company are his experience. He didn't work before coming in this company. The price per slot will be inherited from the service price. I don't want to change that. And I'm not going to use custom schedule. He's going to take his schedule from the service. But if you want, you can change that to different schedule. To have different days off or you can do and say that he's working part-time so he can accept uh, different time periods. Okay, set featured image and he is this guy. Then we have the relate service and since we have created the services we can go and select that and put here what we want for the service. I have to type the three first characters so let's go for car. No, let's go for tires. Sorry. Tires. So change tires. I'm going to publish that. And you only need to do once the assignment. You do it in the technicians or you do it in the services. You don't need to go and do the same twice. So if I go now to the change tires, I will see that I have the assignment here. I have the technician of John. Let's go and see the services. And let's check the tires and we'll see that it was automatically created inside the change tires. Okay, I'm going to delete that, trust that. Because that was a mistake. And then let's go and edit that. And see now here in the uh, technicians that we have John, as you can see here. Now we have the first technician. Let's go and add a new one, which will be John 1. And John 1 will take more money and he will also change tires. John 1. Type, and this is the text that we have for John. Okay, then we have some certificates. Let's go for two for him because he's more experienced. Years of experience, 10 years in the company, 5. And we have different price. So from him, we have 25 instead of $20. And if we want, also, we can put custom schedule here. I'm not going to. And sorry, that was 100 for that service, not 20. So let's go for 120 for this price slot. After that, let's wait for those to be closed. Or you can click the X if you want. And maybe I'm going to click it. Okay, technicians, and we have here the featured image, and this is more professional. So this is the guy, this is the John one. Okay, I didn't add the alternative text, but please do so. And then we have the related service, which will be tires all along. It changes tires and then publish. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other two services. And of course, I'm going to pause the video for that. There's no need to show you the same thing again. Now, as you can see, I have added here Dave 1 and Dave, Peter 1 and Peter, John 1 and John. Every time the 1 means that he has more experience and I put that just to show you that you can change the price depending on the person who is doing the service. 
Also, I will need to add something different in here, another column, and I would like to add the price in these services. So here I will need uh, immediately what's the price for every service in order to go and check those and maybe edit that later on. Now, in order to do that, I have to go inside the database and check and find the field. And let's see how we can do that. I'm going first for localhost and then phpMyAdmin. So this is the Croco PHP. This is the database of this uh, website. And then I'm going into the post meta. Okay, let's go for the last posts. Okay, so we don't have uh, any other post. This is the last post and we have the years of experience, certificates, relations. And as you can see, we have here the add price. This is the price that it's been written inside the database. And this is the meta key that we need in order to add the price. So let's go here into the post types. Let's go here just to reload the page. Okay, let's go into the services. Let's go into the admin columns and we have the type of car or oh, sorry, it didn't reload. Okay, admin columns, we have the type of car and we're going to add here the price. Then we have the meta value and we're going to put here the app price. Let's update that. First, let's go and put here the number three. So it will be after the type of car and update that. Then let's go to the services and update the service. So as you can see, we have the price of the service right here. I would like that to be easier, but you cannot do uh, at this moment any other way. You have to do it through the database. Now, of course, you don't need to go and check the database yourself. If you just need the price, take, as you can see, this uh, meta key and put it yourself and put it uh, as I did. So you will get the pricing. If you need any other thing from here, you can just copy in the database. But keep in mind that this is the field that is going to appear. So if you need a name and you will not see the name here, like the relations, you can see that it says the ID of the relations and not the relations itself. So you cannot edit that. You need to add PHP in order to change the uh, meta value, the 68, the ID of the uh, relation to the actual person. Okay, maybe too technical. I just want you to see how you can add the pricing inside there. So now that I have everything, I have the correct technicians and I have the correct services, I can now go to the next video and start building my forms. So this was a shorter video in order to add the service and the technician. And next we're going to create forms. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.